Hello, my name is Chantelle Marshall. I was a management apprentice for Travis Perkins, but I now mentor the apprentices. So I finished my GCSEs. I had no idea what I wanted to do um, because I didn't have that direct path. College really wasn't kind of an option for me. Um, so I went into A-levels. There I did psychology, sociology and health and social care. Never touched on the subjects before, but I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed them. I came out with my three A-levels, but during that time, it was only university that was discussed during sixth form. There was no option of apprenticeships. It, and I'm saying honestly, it wasn't discussed. So five months prior to everyone, yeah, five, six months prior to everyone actually going off to university, I thought, like panic stage, like it's just hit me. Like, am I actually gonna go to university? I, I applied everything. I was like, am I, actually, I visited the unis, everything, but am I actually gonna go and spend three years at university? So because it wasn't discussed, in sixth form and no one had mentioned anything to me. But I heard a few friends that had left in the first year of sixth form to do an apprenticeship. I thought maybe that is an option, but because it was a taboo subject, I didn't talk to anyone about it. Um, so I started to look at apprenticeships and it's there that I found the Travis Perkins Management Apprenticeship Scheme. It was a two year program. Um, everything literally looked amazing. So it was kind of too good to be true, but I thought, hey ho, let's, let's apply for it. And that's exactly what I did. It was daunting. And what makes it difficult is that your friends are at university all the time. And obviously you now realize, which I completely forgot about, you're, you're now in the working industry. You don't get the six week holidays. You don't get the Easter breaks. You don't get any of that. So you have to allocate your time very, very wisely, but then it's there where you become more of an adult and you learn your organisational skills and how to manage your time effectively. Um, it was also a pain that when I wanted to go on holiday and festivals and stuff I was the only one that had money. But that's okay. <laughs> but I thoroughly enjoyed my time. I was on the apprenticeship program. I kind of chucked myself into anything and everything. Um, I was like a yes person. I was like, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. And I'll just learn how to do it later. And because I had that within me and I was like, yeah, I'll do it. When it came up, that an apprentice mentor position was provided with the apprenticeship team. I was like, I can do this. I was like, that's exactly what I want to do. I love the apprenticeship and I want to share what I learned with other people to help them develop. So it was then that I um, went into the um, apprenticeship mentor role. I applied for the position and here I am today.